So again, we're going to uh, prepare an acid chloride from a carboxylic acid uh, using thionyl chloride. Again, remember, I guess we'll over here, we'll draw the resonance forms of thionyl chloride. So that's thionyl chloride, but it would prefer So this is the major resonance form, I should say. It's the one on the right here, because of that overlap between the that, um, those pi or those p orbitals. So, anyways, notice the only difference we're doing is taking this hydroxyl group and changing it to a chlorine. So I'm going to erase this one. So I'm just going to draw it looking like kind of a carbonyl type because you guys are very familiar with that. But remember, positive charge there. So electrons are very attracted to it. Okay? So what's going to happen is these electrons here are going to want to see are going to see that and want to attack it, but they need to be instigated <coughs> to attack it from some other way. Right? So these electrons here are going to come down and make that bond there. And then that bond is going to attack there. And that's going to push those up, if you will. So it's again the same mechanism as we showed before, except all in one step. Okay. So I'm going to erase this. So, uh, remember, just like when you attack a carbonyl, right, that double bond is going to come and snap back shut and kick out your best leaving group. In the case of the leaving groups that we have associated around that sulfur atom, the best leaving group is going to be the chlorine Or it might be this thing that you just attacked, but that's just going to go back that way. So it's not going to produce a productive reaction. Okay? So the best leaving group to make the reaction go forward is that chlorine. And once that happens, the reaction goes. Okay, so now you've got this intermediate. Notice this portion looks a lot like thionyl chloride. What's going to happen now? Deprotonation step. Like that. <coughs> and in fact, it doesn't necessarily, in fact, let's not say that it's with that chlorine. Well, 
we could say it's from that chlorine. Well, because we got more than one thionyl chloride in here. Okay, we'll just say it's from that chlorine because what other base is it? For you guys. HCl, again, like I said, you've got more thionyl chlorides in there, but HCl itself is not that um, uh, well stuck together, okay? So either way, you're going to have the Cl or AcL in your mixture, chloride anion. <coughs> it's going to come and attack that electrophilic carbon there, causing those electrons to migrate up to that oxygen, just like you know. This thing here is a super good leaving group, okay? Why? Because you've got this sulfur that one, I mean, sulfur big, you're going to make sulfur dioxide, okay? But you've got all of these resonance structures that this conjugate base could have. Okay, so that's going to be a very good leaving group. Okay? And in fact, it's going to be a better leaving group than the chloride. That's why the chloride doesn't get kicked back off. Okay? The other reason it's a good leaving group, like I said, is you're going to make sulfur dioxide, which is a very stable molecule. Okay? Just like when we make carbon dioxide or make water or hydrogen sulfide or anything like that. Okay? So I'm just going to keep this in the same conformation so we don't have to do any rotational changes. So this is what I was talking about got a choice. Which is the better leaving group? The chlorine, because this is going to come back down, <coughs> snap back down, and it's going to have to decide which leaving group goes. Well, the chlorine we know is a good leaving group, but if we kick this guy off, it makes a stable molecule there, SO2, and then that'll kick that chlorine out. Okay, And that chlorine could go back and be the base for the next one, okay? So that's why I kind of wanted to say there is a base in there, but we've got to have it produced first, okay? And remember, also, HCl was made in this step. Again, those aren't super attracted to each other, so it could have been that one. I'm going to erase the top so I can finish this mechanism. So once that happens, we've made our acid chloride. And again, I'm going to keep it in that same confirmation. We can turn it over in a second. Um, this got kicked out, so we still have the chlorine there. So everybody sees that's the product we were going for, right? We made also SO2. Like that. Everybody cool with that one? And we also um, made the CL minus. Okay. So that's the CL minus that was going to be in the next step going to deprogram. <coughs> so I guess. 
this is the organic product that we were concerned about. This is the stable molecule that drives the reaction uh, and makes this portion here the better leaving. Any other questions on that?